Hey, so I'm going to share with you about my floating experience that I did last night. And I highly recommend that you actually just go and learn about floating so you just kind of like understand what floating really is and all the benefits of it because I don't know everything about floating. Um, it was just something that kind of just like um, Kyle had seen and thought it would be something that would really truly benefit me. Um, in the last couple weeks, I've just been experiencing a lot of pain with my chronic pain condition. If you don't know, I have um, pelvic congestion syndrome. And I've noticed before when I've been in water, um, swimming, or anything like that, typically I do feel, um, I, I feel better because it creates almost like this weightlessness and, and it really helps my pelvis. And so... You know, combined with that of having some really bad weeks of pain and really kind of, I'm the kind of person that will push through pain um, and I'll just keep going and going and not really always giving my body the rest it needs. It really starts kind of taking a toll on me mentally and I was kind of at that point of just being highly stressed, highly overwhelmed. Um, I've battled with depression and anxiety throughout my life. So it was just a lot of just you know things on top of other things of just not taking care of myself as well as I should have so last night um, he actually wanted me to go for my birthday which is tomorrow my my birthday is tomorrow but I was like no um, I think I want to do it tonight like I would rather just go do it tonight um, and then hopefully be able to like come home and maybe get some sleep and get some rest so last night I went at like 8 30 to a place probably about 30 minutes away from my house um, and I get there and you um, fill out some fun paperwork and there was one little spot that you have to initial and it basically says if you intentionally or unintentionally have any type of bodily fluid enter the pod that you have to like tell them immediately and they have to like clean the pod obviously. So that was kind of like the one funny thing. I was like laughing at that. I was, you know, because I swear I'm like a child. I was like laughing. I was like, that's cool um so I filled out my forms um and then I they took me to a little demonstration of what to expect so you, I come into this room and it's got my pot it's got a pot in there it's got um, a shower in the corner it's got like a robe and a towel and basically the the room kind of has that like warmth to it almost like when you go to a pool right it's got like kind of that, that warmer air and moister air kind of humidity in it um and she let me know that that there's like a motion sensor in the room she sets the timer for five minutes usually the motion sensor will know like when i've gotten into the pod and the pot and everything will start so basically what you have to do is you can strip down and either get into yeah i see Landon's behind me, sorry. So you can either get in a swimsuit or you can go naked. I chose to go naked. Um, you wash your body off. You do take like a little shower and then you hop in the pod. The pod's really cool because it's got like like um, this like dim lighting that like changes color and it was going like pink and blue and greens and, and stuff like that. Um, you have controls in there so you can like push, you know, um, you can control if you want, you can choose to have music, you can choose to keep the light on, it's a really dim light if you want. You can choose to keep the pod door open or closed, you can have either or. Um, but I asked her what was best recommended and she said, no music, no lights, keep the pod closed to really get the full experience. So I opted to do that. I wanted to get the full experience so that I could give a full review of what this was like. Um, she recommended putting in earplugs. I did do that. I put in earplugs and then she also gave me like a little noodle that I could put behind my neck if I wanted. So I climbed into the pod and as the pod water is filled with like Epsom salt, like a ton of Epsom salt. So it makes it very easy for your body to, um, to float. So I got in, I closed the pod door and I was laying there um, and it has like water streaming at first, but when it gets started, the water sh streaming stops, all the lights go off and you are just in complete pitch black. No, nothing, no, it, it was, you know, at first, I'll be honest, I was a little scared because I was like, oh, it's so dark and I'm all alone and it like felt a little weird at first. But I slowly started kind of feeling my whole body starting to really relax. And I could feel just like tension that I had been holding really start to relax because I really started to trust that the water was going to hold me. 
And the more that I relaxed and I just kind of let my mind just kind of slowly start to calm down, which I've been practicing guided meditation, not as well as I should, but I've been practicing. So my goal was to get trying to get into a very deep meditative state. Um, it's hard. It wasn't easy to do. It's not easy to do always to meditate. Um, but I just kind of try to let my mind calm down and I would get into these periods of states where I would feel my brain would be complete like my mind was completely crystal clear no thought and my body you would feel because they warm the water and the air to the exact same temperature yeah the city they warm it to the exact same temperature so that you can't even tell where the water ends and where the air begins so you can't even tell so you it's completely what you feel completely weightless you don't you feel like you're just like like floating in nothing it's so crazy um and I was just like oh my god and I I started just feeling so relaxed and so comfortable to the point where the noodle actually I was like I don't even want this noodle here because I, I could feel pressure right here and so I took the noodle off and I just completely relaxed and it was absolutely amazing. Now the weird things that I noticed is that because there's so much Epsom salt in the water, the water almost had a little bit more of like a, a different consistency than regular water. It had almost like a thicker consistency. I had to itch my face and then got water on my face at the very end. And then I was like wanting to dry my face and clearly couldn't dry my face. And then, um, so that was that... That was like near the end so I, I recommend trying to not itch your dry face because <laughs> then it will like drive you crazy um, but at the very end um, when I got out I felt just so at first I felt I didn't feel like super relaxed I could feel like my pelvis and stuff felt better like I wasn't in as much pain um, and I just kind of like I tried to wash off a little bit, but the water seemed like too cold. So I was like, I'll just go home and wash off. So I got dressed and I headed out to the car. And as I was driving home, I just felt like a limp noodle. Like I felt just like I, I was just sitting there like, oh my gosh, I'm so, I've never felt that relaxed in my life. Like every single piece of my body just felt like just in like a very good way like I know I've, I've had massages and stuff and I have felt leaving like very relaxed but this is like on a whole nother level of feeling completely relaxed my whole body um, but I did have a ton of like the, the residue of salt because as your skin the sea's on fire as things start to dry you clearly obviously like the salt there's like I had it all over me it was like all like behind my ears I had salt when I got home, I'm like taking off my clothes and there's like salt residue like all in my clothes. So I don't recommend wearing anything like, I don't know, like I, I wore just like comfies. And then my hair, it was just thick. It just covered, like I could see it. I should have taken a picture. It was just like salt, like not like salt salt, but like a powder almost like all in my hair. Yeah, I see. Cool, dude. I got so I showered. So I recommend either showering there if you're gonna go somewhere afterwards, or plan it around where you can just come home. Um, because plus they too, they kind of said like it really. You, you don't know how you're gonna feel when you come out. You could feel really energized, or you could feel really tired, and you're not gonna know. And each time can be almost a little different. Um, me, I felt definitely very relaxed, but then I had just like such clarity in my brain. I don't even know how to explain it. So I don't feel like I slept amazing but I woke up this morning with a lot more energy than I've had in weeks I woke up on time I actually did not sleep through my alarm I've been sleeping through my alarm a lot because I've been feeling just so exhausted and so drained and just physically and mentally just done and so I was able to get up on time I was able to do my personal development I got to do my journaling I did some tapping I don't know if you've ever heard of tapping that's like a whole nother video in itself but I did some tapping um, and just did some energy work and I just felt amazing I'm not gonna lie I still have pain today I'm still hurting 
but I feel like I'm just in a better mental place to process the pain and handle it. I feel like I just got that recharge that I needed to just better handle what I have to I have to manage in a day with, you know, my pain, obviously taking care of Landon. Um, you know, I I I build a business from home. Um Yes, Landon. And, you know, I have a teenage daughter and I have all this stuff going on. And it, that's what it did. I felt like it really just gave me that time to decompress and relax. So I highly recommend it. I'm actually going to book more. Um, you can do packages. Um, my first uh, one on uh, introductory was like $45 for the float. And then they've got other different packages. I'm going to send Kyle to go do it because it's really recommended for people that have like back injuries and things like that and he was in a car accident and he has got a really bad back so he's gonna go and check it out for his back um yeah I I, I highly recommend it they do say you need to do like a couple of um, to really start seeing the benefit because I think it's it's just like anything right you need to give your body time to like really feel the overall benefits of something like this um, and so I'm going to do more. I'll let you know how it goes when I've gotten further down several more floating sessions and see like how it's impacting me um, just on my normal day-to-day -day life. But yeah, I give it like two thumbs up, as cheesy as that is. I really liked it. I think it was definitely well worth the, um, the time and I will be doing it again. So there you go. There was my floating experience. Uh, let me know below if you have any questions, um, I'll, you know, where I went or wherever, like whatever you want to know, I'll, I'll give you recommendations or, um, tell you all, you know, answer questions or whatnot, or let me know if you went floating and what your experience was and if you've been doing it for a while and if, if you agree that the more you do it, the better it feels. I'll talk to you later. Bye.